Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this Tosca automation course. This is the part two from the test case design section. So if you have not watched the part one, so go ahead and watch the previous session where we have discussed about what is test case design sheet, what are different attributes, how you can create them in Tosca, right? So once you do that, you can come here and then we can learn about different instances, right? So once you create your attributes, you need to create different instances of those attributes, right? So these instances are nothing but they are different variations of your attribute in your application, right? So for example, when we created an attribute called customer type or user type, right? So it had got different values in your application. It could be a registered user, a unregistered user, or it could be a business user or a technical user, right? So there are four different variations of a single attribute, which is the user, okay? Now, all these different four values or variations are known as instances. So you have to create four different instances of that attribute in your test sheet, okay? Now, uh, coming to uh, different properties, of these instances right so when you create an instance it has got certain properties which can be um, altered based on your scenario of your test case okay so the different properties are basically uh, two important properties which you should consider are character and position okay now character um, this character property it tells us whether it's a valid instance, an invalid instance, or a straight through instance. Okay, so we can toggle between these three different types of character properties. Okay, now if it's a valid uh, type of character instance, right, then uh, there should be no error expected when you run this uh, in your application. Okay, so it's the default type of uh, character property value which is assigned to every instance if you don't change it. And um, when you put um, a, a instance as a valid character instance, then basically it should not fail, okay? Or there should be no error when executing this particular test case in this particular instance, okay? The next type is invalid. Although this doesn't mean that um, it's an instance which should always fail, no. Uh, it's, it's an instance where it will give you an error and it's a valid error because you have given an invalid input right so that type of instance is known as the invalid character instance and then there is the third type which is the straight through um, value for character instance now this is um, the scenarios where um, it's the most critical part of your application and the business flow is the uh, is most frequently used by the customers right so you should define your instances as straight through which you consider it as a happy path, right? Which has the fewest dependencies in your application and also it is easy to implement, right? So all these instances should be considered or should be defined as straight through, right? So you always expect these instances to at least pass whenever you are running all your test cases. Okay, so when uh, there is less time um, and you have to uh, execute a lot of test cases, what you can do is you can just execute the straight through cases because these are the high risk instances and they are very easy to run or they are your happy path. Okay, so if they run successfully, you can make sure that uh, at least your high risk um, functionality of your application is working. Okay. Now coming to position, which is another property for an instance. And this tells you whether um, an instance is a boundary value instance or an inner value instance. Okay, so there are two types. And if you have uh, learned the testing concepts, right? So this is the pretty basic uh, concept which is used for designing your test cases. Okay, so whenever you are trying to define um, what kind of test cases you are going to design from the requirements so you consider the boundary values and um, the equivalence class partitioning okay so these are two very common uh, keywords which you heard in testing okay now boundary values what are these 
so when you have a range of values the boundaries are considered um, as the extreme values okay so uh, you cannot have uh, valid inputs beyond these boundaries okay so for example if we have the product quantity um, and it accepts a value between a range 1 to 10 so your valid values are should be between 1 to 10 right and 1 and 10 are considered as boundaries so beyond these um, they could be uh, invalid inputs so you should uh, consider them when you are testing for your negative testing but still they are not the valid values okay so all other values within the range that do not fall immediately between um, or around the boundaries are known as the inner values in tosca or in test case design sheets okay so in our example of for quantity as you can see the 1 and 10 are our boundaries for that particular instance um, the values between 2 and 9 are the inner values and the values which are outside the boundaries right so for example um, values like 11 12 13 right which are greater than 10 are also known as upper boundary values and values which are lower than 1 say for example 0 or negative values right so these will be lower boundary values so you can toggle uh, your position of your um, instances based on what kind of uh, scenarios you want to uh, design for your test cases right so based on that you have to define the character and the position property for your instance okay so uh, now let's see um, how we can um, create some instances for our attributes which we created earlier and how we can also toggle the character and position properties for these instances in Tosca. So now I am back in Tosca where we already created a test case design sheet um, for our products page, right? And we had defined different attributes. So now uh, we need different instances, although um, I'm not going to fill in instances for each and every attribute in the session, but I'm going to show you at least one from each section, right? So you can fill the others. Um, so in this administration part, uh, you can create uh, in test designer, you can put the tester names, uh, you can business contact, you can put the business analyst names as different instances and in test cycle. Um, let's see how we can create an instance here, right? So when you right click, you can see there is an option called create instance. Click on that and now you will get uh, an option to create your own instance under the instances okay so it's not possible to create sub instances you can only create uh, instances for each attribute okay so for test cycle i can say this is uh, either smoke um, or i can create another instance here called regression right so there could be different instances for test cycle now uh, coming to type of user uh, i can create an user called or instance called registered and i can create another one as new right so there are two instances similarly um, for uh, products right so for quantity uh, we can create different instances like the quantity could be one it could be two it could be three or as usual so you can put instances, different instances for different product names, uh, different prices, right, for those products. Um, similarly, for checkout, right, so for payment information, um, you can say credit card, okay, and you can say then uh, internet banking, or you can say upi okay so these are different payment information types similarly um, in verification type of attribute right so here you can create an instance for message so this could be either a success message or it could be a failure message right so two types of instances 
similarly uh, you can create instances for all your attributes right so now um, as you can see we have created some instances right uh, but still you don't see any difference right so the number of uh, instances for this sheet has not increased right so you can still see at as a one sheet but now um, what you can do is we can also add instances for this particular sheet itself right so that uh, we can have different combinations of one particular test case okay so i can create now different instances and you will see there are different columns which are being added here okay so for um, my instances um, i can just say so test case one um, I can say test case 2 and test case 3 right so you can see um, now there are three different test cases um, and I have got different attributes and different instances for all these three different test cases which could be three different business flows right now in in real world uh, you can also put them as requirement IDs or you can even put it as your Jira IDs right or your test case IDs so that you can have hundreds of test cases in this particular sheet and all of these test cases will have different combinations of test data right so how you can do that you can go um, to this particular test cycle right so let me just close this and you will see the instances which we have created now you can select values for different test cases okay now for example this test cycle has got different instances now I can select a value from these two different instances so either I can uh, make it smoke I can make this regression right so I can select type of user uh, registered or new okay Similarly, um, I can select quantity, what quantity this will be, right? And I can select different payment options here. So one for each type of test case. I can say this is a success, this is a success, this may be a failure because this is not yet implemented in my application. Okay, so as you can see, now there are that could be different test cases and each test case could have a different business flow right so as you can see you can cover a lot of scenarios in just one test case sheet by defining different attributes and different instances of those attributes right now you can divide your uh, test cases based on all the scenarios so that you have got coverage all across the application with different test data okay now um, we have talked about instances uh, we haven't talked about the properties right so on the menu bar if you go to the test case design sheet section right you will see there are different options here here you can also toggle the business relevance okay um, which we talked about earlier and you can also toggle position and toggle character so these are the two properties which we discussed now if I go to each instance okay so by default um, this position is inner and the character is valid so these are the two default values which you can see in the properties section um, I can toggle here so when you press this toggle character it will change the character type okay so it will change it to invalid um, and I can also toggle the position to make it a boundary value okay and um, I can also make it uh, if you do it three times then it will be a straight through instance okay and you will see the icon also changes when you toggle this particular character right similarly I can do it for type of user okay um, I can select the instance and I can make it a straight through instance so every instance should have a straight through value right so that um, when you execute your test cases uh, your straight through test case should pass okay um, and I can toggle the position to either make it 
uh, boundary value right so the quantity one could be a boundary value 10 could be a boundary value but two could be uh, the inner position values okay similarly um, you can create different instances and you can put your character and position based on your scenario okay so this is how um, you design your test case with different instances and uh, different instances can be considered as different test cases in your test design sheet uh, later we'll also talk about how you can create different templates out of your test cases and you can link your test design sheet to a template and then you will see the magic um, how Tosca can automatically create different test cases out of this test design sheet so once uh, you design this test sheet completely then your test case creation becomes a lot easier okay so that uh, we'll see in some of the later sessions